Welcome to another episode of Lifestyle After Five, where today we are talking about the seven benefits of waking up early to energize your day. Now, I'm no morning person, and I struggle with getting up early, but every success book I have read has talked about getting up early, whether it's 5 a.m., 6 a.m., just early. I, you know, I like to go to bed late. I consider myself a night owl, but the night we're going to talk about getting up early. So join me. Matter of fact, I got up early this morning and I'm sleeping. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm tired right now. But join me as we talk about my bright and early journey as I take this challenge of mastering to wake up early. Let's let's just I'm going to set the stage. I'm a morning person. So this is a strong, strong point for me. So I feel like I'm kind of helping you out a little bit, Ali. I'm not even yeah, I, I, I need it. Yeah, you can get up early. I, I see you. You always up early. Bro. Like any, and I'm usually late. So I, I applaud you for that. Well, I mean, like you said, all, all the successful people, they pretty much waking up early is pretty much like their main thing. And then after that, they have like a, a morning routine. So, um, I mean, other than just that, you know, billionaires, millionaires having a early morning routine, it can have a profound impact on your daily life. I mean, it's, it's, it's great to get a head start on your day. You're ahead of everybody. That's why I like waking up early and I'm in Germany. I'm like in the future and I'm getting ahead of everybody. Um, you set yourself up for success, just working on your mindset first thing in the morning. And then when you wake up early, you're more focused, more energized, and more motivated to tackle your, to tackle your goals. But I think um, it matters what what you're what you're planning to do the night before. So to me, waking up early, you gotta have your night the night routine. So I feel like if you master your night routine really good, and then you go into the next day already having that day already planned out. So basically, I get up early and I just go. So morning routine, so morning it, it just routine makes your makes entire day easier. It kind of just like maps everything out. And then also you, you're you putting the positive energy, you're setting yourself up for that time. And, every, and the entire day just kind of plays out like that. You would think being in the military that I would do a lot better with this, with getting up early. But one of my mentors, like you, you hit a key point there. One of my mentors once said, don't ever go to bed. Don't never end a day without starting a day, which is exactly what you said is what he meant was have the next day planned out before you end the previous day. So every night you should write up, write out your routine and what you plan to get done that morning, because it's not just about waking up. It is about developing a routine and structure. And once you get structure in your life, things are starting to flow. And we all know once you get flow into your life, you get better energy, positive energy start to come in when you got everything planned. You're not guessing. You're not wasting time. You're not just wandering through life. You know, a lot of times people say, well, I don't have enough time. I didn't have enough time in the day to get this done. Well, maybe if you'd got out of bed early, you'd have had enough time or you went to bed on time. You you can't stay out. Like I say, don't try to do tomorrow's work in a day. Do today's work and make today's work perfect. It was good as perfect as you can get it and let tomorrow's work take care of tomorrow's work. So let's wake up early with our already structured plan routine and let's go through it and make make it happen. You'll find things magically. And I, I've done it before and I've just somehow gotten off rhythm, but I'm, I'm getting back on the ship. But when I was getting up early, like I said, when I was in the military, I had more of my day. I was able to work out. Some people wake up and work out. I was able to do that and, and I had more time because I didn't waste it. And some people struck, uh, say they can't go to bed at night and they stay up all night. But if you get up early in, at, at night, yes. you're going to be sleepy. Yes. You know, that's the thing. See, I didn't have a problem. Just said that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I said, and that's one of the problems. I'm not getting up early, so I'm staying up later. So it's kind of that, 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 that shift. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, you, know, you could. Work, <laughs> you know, usually the first two days of May is usually rough, but I guarantee you after about that third day of getting up early, when nightfall comes, you're going to be tired and ready for the bed and you're going to get a better quality of sleep. I feel I, you I don't on know that. You better quality of sleep is probably the best thing to help with time management and productivity, bro. 
I mean, I don't I don't see how uh, people. I mean, I get it because everybody energy levels are different. So you know this this is just like like an overview of how you should kind of structure it. But you know, learn yourself, learn your body, understand like what works for you because everybody like me for example, I have a week where I can stay up late. And, and I can or I won't sleep for like two weeks because I'm just so inspired. So I, I go off of that energy. And then when I, I've reached that peak where I'm like, OK, I can't do this anymore. I need to like sleep. And then I sleep or uh, I might need to restructure my day in general. Like you just kind of have to be aware of your body because that, that's kind of where the like the solution lies is having a routine in general, you know, morning routine, nighttime routine your day just kind of can start to feel like mundane you know how you like the, the <laughs> times go and everything just seems like it's just like melting together having that routine absolutely structures your day yeah I, I don't like that feeling bro that's why i'm like hmm if i just go to sleep or if i uh have a planner or some, something that's to like help me structure and then i just kind of follow that a little bit it just like knocks out all of that confusion and um, you able to keep a, like a better schedule. But I think when I was uh, not really sleeping that good, my structure would, it would make it hard to follow a schedule, even though I was having people like scheduling me on like sky's the limit. My, my sleep schedule was so trash, I would end up like sometimes canceling me. So it's, it's really just time management and productivity they go hand in hand so just like be weary of your energy levels and all of that absolutely like, like there's a lot of people that can get up with the chickens but then like i said it's one thing to sleep all day but then the second scene as you mentioned and you you alluded to there is not only do you need to get up early but you have to have a plan and you need to structure your day because a lot of people get up it does no good to get up early if you're just gonna waste the day. If you, yeah. I mean, if you waking up to sit on the couch for three hours and scroll, and, and, and reading and a book, doom scroll, <laughs> watch, yeah, watching TV. Unless there's something educational or something that's gonna put some education or something uh, mm -hmm. in, in your in your brain, it, it does no good to get up early if you're just gonna waste time. Time is the only asset you will never get back. More precious than gold, more yeah. precious than money. All the time you waste in life, you will never get back. At least not in this lifetime that mm. I know of. And if you can't, there's anybody that got the hack of how to get more time in life, please let me know. Because people wonder, do you, when you look at a person like a Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, uh, a Warren Buffett, you know, those people have the same 24 hours in a day that we have. When you think about it and you break it down, they have made billions with their time. The, and then even when you look at when you say, well, you know, they, they came from money or, or they had this, this and that type of advantage. You look at Tyler Perry, someone who went from living in his car uh, or even an Oprah, Oprah Winfrey. How did they spend their 24 hours? They definitely didn't. I don't think they spent their sleeping to get to a billion. You know, even when you look at, oh, there's some controversy and some may, may deem him as, as being a little out there, a little disturbed. But it, look, look at a Kanye West. Yeah. Someone who didn't waste time. At you all. Know, he used his time wisely and creatively. As soon as he came out, he hit the ground running. As soon as he got his opportunity, he did not stop. He hasn't stopped since. And that's what we have to do. You got to find your passion and you got to get up and you got to get on it. You know, there's no such thing, you know, in the corporate world, especially when you get into like upper management, the worst thing you can say when you didn't complete an assignment or, or a project was, I didn't have time. That's that amazing no-no. Well, I didn't have time to get that done. Oh, no. You had time. You could have stayed late. You could have got up early. You wasted time. You could have worked the weekends. <laughs> That's different things. Put that time into and energy into yourself. So I know you talked about how you, I know you get up early. So what does your morning routine look like? So I structure my morning routine uh, based on Ayurveda. 
So I've been uh, um, Ayurvedic. Explain lifestyle. how you get it before you go into that, before we get too oh, far. Yeah. Explain what Ayurveda is. So Ayurveda is the science of life. It's uh, probably the oldest um, science on earth that, that uh, man knows of now in this timeline. So um, basically it's the culmination of the Vedas, which are spiritual teachings from people who are based in India or Eastern Asia. And basically the Vedas speak about different forms of healing using the mind, the body, and the external. So in Ayurveda, I learned that the morning routine is the, probably the most important part of the day because it sets up your entire day for basically how you want it to be. So okay. how it starts is I wake up. We have to rise with the sun. So when I get up, the sun ain't even up. I'm up before the sun. So between like 3 and 5 a.m., I'm up. After that, I have to do an entire routine. So my routine consists of a neti pot, which basically I pour warm water with salt into both of my nostrils, and I just let it drain out to clear my nostrils. I do that when I'm sick. I don't do it not every day, but I, something I used to do like when I was sick. When Kobe was going around, I, I used oh, yeah. to yeah, yeah. do neti pot uh, washes through my nose. And, you know, of course, obviously, if I get a cold or something, I'll do it. See, we he didn't even know. He already is low-key practicing Ayurvedic lifestyle. <laughs> you so, know, it, it was funny. I never had heard of it and, until you mentioned it. Oh, that's fine. And like to say how you bring things to your consciousness. I went and picked mm -hmm. up an Awakening magazine the other day, and on the cover was Ayurveda. <laughs> and that's fire, though. <laughs> but we, like, look, he talked about the flow earlier. Every time we, we are in flow... Stuff like that happens all the time, so it's it's always I'm cool to just get these. Flow. Yeah, yo, this the, this video is gonna help you get in the flow. So please, if this video has been helping you so far, like this video and leave a comment. Let us know that we're doing good, okay? If you find some other ways of some great great morning routines to help me out, yeah, or any tricks to trade, please share them. Tell me, I'm very interested. I like to know some of you guys and ladies' morning routines and what I can do to help me get in gear to start waking up early and become a morning person. <laughs> Word. Yeah. I'm interested to read these comments too, because I hope everybody didn't read the same books that, that uh, we were reading about all these rich people getting up at 4 a.m. and doing yoga. But also that's, that's another thing. So I wake up, neti pot, tongue scrape, oil pulling. So oil pulling oil is... Basically, you put uh, oil in your mouth and you do it for about 20 minutes and it gets all the bacteria, everything from the night before. Then you tongue scrape, scrape your tongue, brush your teeth. Um, after that, you're supposed to drink warm water. So I drink warm water uh, to get the oil out of my teeth. Then I drink tea. After I drink my Let's tea. Let's put a caveat out there. Please mm -hmm. don't swallow the oil and don't spit the oil in your sink or toilet. It is yeah, oil. Yeah. You need it is trash. either in, in a trash can, napkin, or outside on, on the ground, on grass or something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, don't swallow the oil or, and don't spit it in your sinks or toilets or anything. Point. It can cause you problems. Real talk. Appreciate that, Ali. See, I, I feel like Ali is more uh, Ayurvedic than he realized. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. You, you, you talked about yoga. I didn't hear you mention. Well, I guess Ayurveda is a form of meditation as well. So in Ayurveda, when you uh, wake up before, like you wake up and you rise like kind of with the sun, uh, you're supposed mm -hmm. to do meditation and, and yoga. So you clear your mind, you work out, take a shower, then you start working. After that, then you start serving the community. So you spend all now, the day. Is there a time limit that you should do this for? Well, typically it takes me, um, so because I wake up so early, I try to wake up so I'm not disturbed and take my time in the routine. I don't try to like, rush. So I, I try to wake up early enough to flow. The, the flow comes from just taking your time and doing everything. So there's no time limit. Uh, you just want to wake up early enough so that if you know you got to be working at a certain time, then just wake up, you know, maybe an hour earlier. 
so that you can really get the most out of that routine. Understandable. And with medica- meditation, not medication, it's definitely mm-hmm. something I need to get back into the rhythm of doing because, it, I mean, there's science behind meditation for yes. those that don't believe it. You know, it not only has, it reduces stress, anxiety, and it increases your focus and productivity. And that was a scientific fact. You know, you can just Google that and find that out from just in, about any source now. Uh, yeah. So I definitely need to get back into meditation first thing in the morning. I used to do it before I go to bed, but I do need to at least get me 10 to 15 minutes upon waking up. It really uh, makes a huge difference. Like just 10 minutes really makes a difference for real. Anything to increase my motivation and productivity. And then like I said, you couple that with a workout Mm -hmm. and you are set up for an awesome day. And like I said, by getting up early, you've got time to do those things, you know, getting up an, I don't know, an hour early, uh, whatever is natural, depending on your work schedule. Yeah, getting up on getting up early and just getting it done. What's been the key to your discipline, though? Consistency, man. I mean, to to be disciplined first starts with building small habits. Um, I'm actually reading a book now that mentions that uh, it's a stoic path to wealth. Uh, I can't remember the author's name off the top of my head, but mm-hmm. basically he speaks in that book about consistency. You know, uh, with investing, it's it's something that you have to do every day. So same thing with like walking. OK, I know I need to walk every day. Mm-hmm. I, I might need to go, you know, if it, if it rains, I need to go to a gym and walk on a treadmill or walk a treadmill at home. You know, like putting that as a priority. And that's basically how I stayed disciplined because I started small, you know. OK, well. Let me just try to wake up early every day or let me try to go to bed early every day. Then once I got that habit down, OK, now I'm, I'm going to sleep eight o'clock. I actually started going to sleep at eight o'clock every day. And then okay. after that, I started waking up 3 a.m. So that was my next habit. Built that habit. up. So it was just stuff like that, like building the habit. And then it becomes natural. It's like, uh, you know, lifting weights. <laughs> You just got to build up that muscle consistency. So, so basically what I hear you saying is it's basically you just got to get your mind right. It's all about mm-hmm. the mindset. And I just got to deal with my mind. Like this morning I woke up and it was raining. Mm-hmm. And man, it's like I was cold. It really was. It was cold in the house. It was raining. And I just wanted to just lay there. But <laughs> I, I was, something was like, you know, every moment that you lay down, yeah. it's, big, it, it's time being wasted. You have not achieved everything that needed to be achieved. So, you know, I drug up. I, I finally drug myself out of, out of the bed and went, got some, fixed some coffee and, and, and sipped on some coffee. But I tell you, my mind will tell me, your mind play tricks on you. It'll tell me, oh, you know, you don't feel good. Your stomach, uh, you know, is weak right now. You're a little woozy. You just need to rest just a little bit longer. You got to beat your mind. Yeah. What, or shall I say, you have to set your mind because, like Pretty I said, much. it'll play tricks on you and it'll try to do whatever it can to to stop you from ex- achieving it. I mean, it, you get into your emotions. Oh, uh, yeah. It will you can make a bunch of excuses once you get into your emotions. Yep. That's usually where it, where it starts. Um, that's why when you meditate, you, when you meditate, that that literally like separates everything the emotions, the mental thoughts, the physical feeling, like all of that becomes separated and you start to observe. So, so and the that. thing is, you don't have to be perfect. You know, there are going to be some days where you may fall and you may hit that snooze mm-hmm. one too many times and wake up late. It's okay. You got another day, hopefully. Yep. You just got to yeah, start yeah. over the next day and keep it going and get back in rhythm. You're not going to, you know, I mean, you're not going to come out the gate perfect. It takes nah. work and uh, just getting back sure. on the wagon and getting things done and just replanning and refocusing your day. So I guess we could say here in summary, getting up early is all about structure and creating a routine that that help you that helps set you up for success. Because it not only it gets you up early, which allow you more time to get things done, but then it's creating discipline and it's setting up daily structures. And like I said, by planning your night out before you go to uh, go to bed, 
you waking up every morning ready to go, knowing what you got to do. I mean, you know, hey, if I'm getting up at 6 a.m., for those that eat breakfast, you know, you might want to get up at 6 a.m., uh, meditate for 15, 10 to 15 minutes. 6.15, you might want to go take on your oil pulling, as you, as you mentioned. Uh, you might want to go walk around uh, the block or whatever for 30 minutes. So, you know, by seven o'clock, you know, hey, I need if, you, if you're going to eat breakfast, I'm going to crack an egg and start cooking my breakfast or rice or whatever you do around 7 a.m. And, you know, everything begins by 730, whatever you, your career or whatever you got planned. And even on the weekends need to be structured. Yeah, yeah. There is no That's time that, that you can waste <laughs> in your life or whatever you choose. To do. I mean, you might want to take your hour in more on the weekend. Well, you know, if you're used to getting up at six o'clock through the week, you might want to take it to seven or eight on the weekend, you know, totally up to you. And early is different depending on everybody and what you have to get done in your normal work schedule. As long as you stay consistent and you keep working on, on building the habit, like understanding that, okay, I'm building a habit. This is new. Trust me. It, I mean, mm -hmm. Some of y'all might already have morning routines. So, you know, shout out to y'all and the people that don't that's watching this. Um, I just want to encourage you to try implementing a routine yourself and sharing your experience of that by following us on our journey. Because like Ali said, he pretty much is trying to rebuild his morning routine again. And I'm not going to lie, like mine is fluctuating because I'm in a foreign country now. So I had to like restructure mine. I'm still restructuring my morning routine. So that's why we're all working on this together. Let's hold each other accountable. And if you want to learn more about productivity and well-being, be sure to check out our other videos or you can check out my magazine, Hybrid Manual. I literally have my entire routine, how I came, you know, put it together. You can get this on Amazon or you can go to hybridmanual.card.co. It'll be in the uh, status bar below. You can check it out. Just uh, what do they call it? Description. <laughs> It'll be in the description box below. So. Uh, you check it out, read it. It's, I'm sure it'll help you out. Um, it's helped hundreds of people out. So y'all check it out. Anything else you guys say? I'll be scan the QR code too for the, for our Discord. Oh yeah, it's in there too. <laughs> yeah, join us in Discord. Like it's a whole family of us in there where we actually can help each other out. It's it's fun. We got all age groups in there. Like again, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us, and leave us your comments. We want to know how you feel and share some of your morning routines with us. Until next time, this has been Lifestyle Out the Five. Hey. And we'll see you on the next go round. <laughs>